All right, we are just about ready for the catch and release bass opener. I know it's ridiculous that we have seasons here in Minnesota, but just in time, one of the final pieces, just about ready. We're going to do a quick install of these new shallow water anchors on the Camus. And this isn't going to be like a full, like comprehensive, like every nut and bolt install, but I'm going to give you a couple quick high learning points. So if you want kind of a quick and dirty, like what to watch out for, especially if you're mounting on a Camus, what brackets I use, that kind of stuff, where the pumps go, all that stuff. Highlight some of that in this video, and uh, then we'll be ready to chase bass this weekend and have just about all the parts complete on the Camus. I ended up going with the Raptors because of availability, a few other things, hearing good things about them. Ended up ordering these from chattyboys.com. They had inventory. They were able to help me out. Ordered these on a Friday. They came in on Monday. So... Over the weekend, got out of the stuff, and now we're going to work on the install. These are the Minn Kota brackets I went with. The 2-inch uh, setback, 6-inch rise. Black. I'll show you these on the back of the motor here. We have the first one on the starboard side installed. One tip here. If you have a hydraulic jack plate, raising that up gives you a lot more clearance to get your wrenches and things like that down into this section. So if you're fighting with space, raise up your hydraulic jack plate. So you can get to these bolts back here. Make sure you use that anti-seize that they provide on the bolts and nuts. One thing I noticed out of the box, compared to my old talons, these things are pretty light. Kind of lift them with one hand. So this stuff just keeps coming in handy. I use it for rigging up front, managing cords, a lot of things in the boat. Also, make yourself a little Velcro strap. This thing's a little floppy into the hydraulics, so if you're trying to bolt this on all by yourself, tighten these bolts, this little Velcro strap goes a long ways. I'll put links to everything in the description, including these Velcro straps and everything else you're using down below in case you want to grab it for your own talon or shallow water anchor installation. Well, I mentioned the actual Raptors themselves are surprisingly light. These pumps, surprisingly heavy. They must weigh almost as much as the Raptors themselves, especially when they're probably full of fluid. One thing that's cool is that if you pull out these four screws, it kind of gives you the option to... These little guys to twist this reservoir into a position that is easier to access after you mount it. They actually, with all these brackets, give you a lot of options to mount this cleverly. So uh, we're working on that. We're going to start with the pumps, figure out where they go, and then we'll kind of work backwards from there. We already got the, the brackets mounted. And now we're going pumps, and then we'll start routing wires and hanging raptors. So one thing I did is I made myself a little foam spacer to kind of level out the pump while I was setting it in there so I could figure out my bracket placement. So you can see here, down in here, I've got my little, that way I can level everything out, get my screws positioned while I got this thing set up, got everything measured out, and I don't know, maybe I'll even leave it in there, just kind of an extra little support. But uh, otherwise this will just come right out and it'll float. But otherwise it could be used as a little extra cushioning on the tank. So position wise, I went with the pumps right here, plenty of clearance to get in there, everything I can still get, but I want to have access to these buttons, so I rotated the reservoirs in, so they're next to each other, and now we're about ready to start bleeding and filling up these pumps. And there is where all the lines are with the ground mitts and the three quarter inch holes as required by Minn Kota. Let's talk about remotes, switches, and operation of the Raptors thus far. So I keep one of these remotes in my truck. So as you can see, even with the 8-foot Raptors, there's a clearance issue getting out of my garage. So with this and the power on, I can raise and lower my Raptors while I'm going in or out of my garage so I don't have to like get out of the truck. So when I'm coming out, I pull part way out, lower them down so they're I can see they're below the motor. I pull out of the garage, you go back up, and then... Reverse that one backing up, and then that's how I get in and out of the garage by keeping one of the remotes in my truck. And then I have a spare, it's not in the boat. For the Camus here, I went with this triangle switch. A couple reasons. One, I was used to it because that's the style I used on my talons and my old boat, and I just felt it was a little cleaner than having two separate stomp switches. And I'm hearing that these are a little more reliable than the stomp switches, but 
that's just what I'm reading on the internet. And so far, this has been really good for me. Another main switch remote is mounted right here on kind of the, the left side of my steering wheel, below my graph. It's right here in the center of the boat. So whether I'm driving or if I'm culling or I'm rigging or wherever I need to come from the front, this is the easiest, most universal place for me to hit these buttons and be able to access it anywhere where I'm going forward or backward in the boat. That's kind of where I can get to it. I also have uh, most of my graphs linked. I don't really find myself using the feature of linking to the Helix, it's just more easy to use the buttons, but in an emergency, that's another option, as well as the manual buttons on the pumps. On the boat network, I can also operate my Raptors up and down here, which is another option. Could do this in my truck as well, but I like just having that physical remote up there. So they are installed, been using them. You can see them here operating on the water. If you have any questions, leave me a comment down below in the video. I also have links to all the rigging, all the the, the Velcro, anything else I used. Also, a link to chattyboys.com if you want to get some Raptors or anchors from them. They are great to work with. There'll be a link down below and a code for free shipping down in the description as well. HB free. If all the shallow water anchor tank has you pumped up to catch some bass and you want to just see some good old fashioned shallow water beat down, check this video on the screen right here.